Come on, it was like 10 seconds ago. Get over it. We had to wait for the mu music to end, unfortunately. Grandpa's calling. What? He opened the way for us. How the hell? Even from beyond the grave, he helps Krill. What? Grandpa? What? What? What is that? I've borrowed the power of Elder's tree. I think it just meant Elder tree. Which protected the crystals for a thousand years. Now, I give that power to you. Krill, don't cry. Stand with bots and the others. Be strong and fight. I don't want to! Come back! You're not alone, Krill. Never forget that. Krill got Gallop's abilities! Grandpa, I feel so warm. I know he's with me. I'm always right here in your heart. I think I understand now, Grandpa. What? Next death. Krill! Bart's Reina Ferris, I'll fight along with you. Bart, gr <laughs> Grandpa told me X Death is trying to destroy the crystals. We've got to hurry to X Death's castle to stop him. Dragon! And Krill has joined our party, as you saw. They uh, had a little mechanic so that <laughs> it, they could try to at least attempt to justify how Krill can get all of Gallop's abilities. Um, I don't necessarily buy it, but I'm happy that it's there. Um, because, well, I don't know how they were going to explain it. <laughs> you know, the, the last thing you want to do is, you know, have the player feel like they leveled up this character, gave him all these abilities, and then it was all wasted. Looking at you other games that I can't name because it's spoilers. But I'm definitely looking at you. You know who you are. And we have made it out of the forest. Out of a very, very difficult battle. That I had to cheat my way to victory to get through. But we do have a new party member. Krill. Who, as you might imagine, is bare. You don't get any of the equipment back, I'm afraid. Uh, but... Uh, I don't think I had him on anything all that important, especially since the, uh, the healing staff was unequipped. Oh, no, Fire Rod! Wait, because he was on the Fire Rod. No, oh, it looks like it unequipped him anyway. Very, very nice. So I don't need to go back and do anything. Uh, I do, however, need to change my party setup just a bit. Okay, everybody is back pretty much the way they were, except for Krill, who is taking over Gallop's spot. Uh, I don't know if we went over all the new abilities and what everybody looks like with them. Um, I think we did, though, to be honest with you. Uh, one thing that I did notice, that I don't think I pointed out before, is um, how Ferris, you know, to start, Ferris kind of look, has, has a look as if it's as if Ferris is a guy, and that's on purpose, until you start getting to other stuff like Ninja, where it starts to become more and more apparent that Ferris is indeed a girl. Uh, the most uh, obvious one for me uh, to, to reflect that kind of change is not only the Sorcerer, look at that, there's no way that's a guy, um, and then also the Dancer. She's freaking wearing a tube top. Okay, uh, but we have not seen Krill look at like anything. So this is what Krill looks like in all the different jobs uh, that we can give her. Very nice looking in all of them. Very, very feminine in all of them as, that as well. What, what do you call a female ninja? Like a Kunoichi or something like that? 
She makes a very nice one, even though it looks like she might stab herself in the forehead with the shuriken. Uh, we got Samurai <laughs> Berserker. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> she looks like where the wild things are. The, the kid from that. I forget his name. Uh, Sorcerer with the, the bindi uh, in the middle of her forehead. Very nice. Uh, white mage. Of course, she's a cute little kitty. Black mage and uh, comes with a starfish on the on the side. Uh, time mage, which is what she's on. You cannot see her face. And a summoner. She looks like a little princess with a horn. Uh, blue mage. Just smear that blue stuff right all over your face. That doesn't look like a mask at all to me. Uh, red mage. Very nice as well. Uh, trainer. Looks like a baby sheep. Uh, lamb. Is it a lamb or baby sheep? I think it is. Uh, chemist with the. Uh, the green cross on the on the forehead or on the, the little beret because I guess the red cross would sue. Uh, Geomancer looks like she's about to go to bed. Uh, bard, I don't even know what that is. Uh, dancer, she looks like a, I don't know, kind of like a ballerina with a blue tutu. And then bear where she's, well, she looks like how she's always looked. All right, so that is pretty much the setup that I'm going to go with. Everybody is pretty much the same now we were. I don't think there's any change here. Uh, but we do have our next destination in mind, which, of course, was... Can I land on you? No, of course not. Uh, can I... Where can I land here? Jeez, you are not making this easy for me, game. I want to land next to my submarine. Is that too much to ask? There we go. Um, do I need to rest? I think I do. I do. Actually, yeah, I do I do need to rest. Even if we got a heal, I changed the party setup, so I do need to rest. And then I will meet you back on board the submarine so that we can go to our next destination. Okay, we're back on board the submarine. I did purchase some of the equipment that I could not afford before in town. So now uh, we have the tiger mask, diamond plate, and diamond armband on Bart's. We also have the diamond armor and diamond shield on Reyna, uh, the diamond armband on Krill, and the tiger mask, diamond plate, and diamond armband on Ferris. Should be pretty good. Is that? Pretty much diamond arm bands all around except for the Genji Glove, which of course is awesome. Um, that should really help us out in the long term. Nobody's really that close to uh, leveling up, unfortunately, when it comes to uh, the job levels. So, let's sink our submarine and we can head to our next destination. Now, if you look up on the map, uh, which I have done off screen because I think I counted uh, 20 seconds. Uh, for that thing to pull up, it, it takes way too damn long. Uh, we can head up here. There will be another um, white, well, white dot, for lack of a better term, on the map. Um, and here it is. This is our next destination. Uh, you have to be underwater in order to see this dot on the map. Though, this is where we are headed. The only real other dot that we have available to us uh, we can heal in the ship should we need to we have not been here before I don't believe there are any battles in this cave but we end out on the forest now here I want to get into a random battle is this I don't think that is a specific forest, though. Uh, is it going to be the first battle I come across? No, but we do have uh, new enemies. I mean, we got a land turtle, and then we've also got uh, the... Who got hit? I think Mars got hit. Uh, we also got the Cure Beasts, which are cute little fuzzy things that hurt like hell, apparently. Um... Now, I do think I actually need to change my setup a bit uh, to take on the next boss, so I will do that after this fight, but we do have new enemies, of course, with the land turtle and all that. And you guys can cast Cure 2 all day, that's not doing that much healing, I'm doing much more than that. Hell, just that way. Um, and I forgot that uh, I will need a summoner uh, for this upcoming fight that I have planned. It is a random encounter here on the world map, so do keep that in mind. How much... I'm, not, I'm really not doing that much damage. Okay, let's do Aqua Rake all around. I can always heal back on the, sh on the submarine if I need to do some level grinding. There we go. There's some good damage. Aqua Rake for the win. 
because, uh, well, but, I mean, that, what else am I going to do, really, up against Cure Beasts? Wonder Waltz, damn it! That was like the one thing I did not want you to do, Bars, and of course it's the first thing that you do. That is not cool. You know, these new enemies, they're not very difficult, I don't think. Uh, jumping will help if you're in the back row uh, with a spear, uh, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't really help me out very much here. There we go, starting to get some massive damage and killing some things, which is always nice. Yeah, cure too, it sucks. <laughs> Compared to how much damage I'm doing right back at you. Uh, does Rena need to be cured? I think Rena has over a, a thousand HP. Yeah, yeah, she does, just barely though, just barely. Yeah, it doesn't matter who I kill, really. They all die eventually. Down goes the Cure Beast, down goes the Cure Beast. For that fight, though, you get 1,341 kills, 672 experience, and 2 ability points. Not nearly what I was hoping for, but something that I will take. We also have got an item out of this, apparently, because the music didn't stop. What did I get? Turtle Shell. Not that great, but I'll take it. Is there anything here? There is something here! The Chocobo Forest! Where I can find... Well, just this one guy, uh, but because I do want to get into random encounters, um, he's not who I'm looking for. So there is a chocobo forest here if you truly do want to avoid battles. However, I do want to get into one, uh, so I will cut it here. I'll change my setup slightly so that uh, Krill on, on top of the time magic that she's working on can summon, and I will meet you in that battle. And we are up against the enemy I was looking for. This is Shout. Now, Shout is quite an interesting enemy we got here. He... Okay, I'm going to have to take care of that in a second. First things first, we need to cast Golem to uh, block all his uh, physical attacks from now on. Uh, now, Shout pretty much... Well, he's a special enemy, as I'm sure we'll find out in a bit. There is a reason why I came out all the way out here just to fight him. Are you kidding me? He pretty much has three attacks. He can do a physical attack, he can do the evil eye, and he can, uh, which stones you, and he can do that, which is drain. Fortunately for me, it did not work. So let's go ahead and cast Asuna. I did need to change uh, Krill over to a white mage so that I did have access to that. And Asuna should cure. It does. Very, very nice, because I don't have any gold needles or anything of the sort on me. I should have purchased those before we came up here. Um, as long as we don't... As long as he doesn't do the evil eye on Krill, I should be fine. Hopefully I can get a jitterbug will do. I was hoping... Are you kidding me? I was hoping for a swords dance. Um, we need to do quite a bit of damage. We need to do as much damage as we can to him as quickly as we can, which is why I am using Aqua Rake. Uh, I will use as much of that as I can, and then we'll have to switch over to uh, physical attacks, unfortunately. Evil Eye miss, but damn, does this guy get a lot of attacks really damn fast. That is not cool. Sword Stance, please. Jitterbug. It, it does decently. Evil Eye again, you evil bastard. What the hell is wrong with you? I want Bards to use the fucking swords dance. I hate you, Shokes. Oh, why do you make this so difficult for me? There we go. Finally, he does a physical attack that, that misses because of Golem. That showed off. You saw how much damage it did, though. Um, this, if I remember, this isn't the earliest that you can get him, of course. You can come here and get him a slightly earlier. <sighs> now you're going to just drain me right back. Swords dance! Damn it. It never works the way that I want. Damn you, stop doing that. I need him for attacking and shit. I need as many of my body members as I can. We're going to have to go for regular attacks now, which sucks because he does have so much HP. So I'm just going to have to whittle that down as we go along and hope that we get a sword stance. But we're not getting those very often at all. Now we until we get a wonder world. All right. Uh, no, I need to. I need to cure Reyna here. Get rid of her stone. That is always appreciated. Get rid of. Yes. Now just go back to the fighting. Hopefully. Hey, he missed. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to do a little bit better here. Just a little bit though. God. 
Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? Oh, she's almost out of MP. We're doing this so damn much. Once again, jumping, it just takes too long, and I, I haven't noticed that it does any more damage, so I'm not doing that. Uh, straight into the evil eye yet again. You are a dick. What can I... That is not cool. Just, just stoning everybody all the damn time. Alright. Go. Temp Tango. That's not going to do shit, and you know it. Alright. Asuna. There we go. Asuna. Sorry. <laughs> we all know it's Asuna, though. Get Reyna back, please. Thank you. There we go. Physical attack. Thank you for that. And we should be willing him down. We should be getting close. If I can get a sword dance, that might do it. Yes! Sword dance! Not enough. There we go. It was enough. That took entirely too long. Three more ability points is all you get for that. Oh, but wait. Looks like we did get an item as well. What did we get here? Shout! Which means that we have obtained another summon. Let's go ahead and use that. Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. There we go. What kind of, What are we going to get for a sound this time? Interesting. It's the sound that you get when you petrify things. I wonder what he will do in battle. Uh, he should come in handy when we uh, go to our next destination. And I do need to heal, so I will meet you back in the, uh, in the town where we left our dragon. We are back in more village, and that looks like that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my summon obtaining squad of Bart's Reina, Krill, and Ferris. Gallop is no longer with us, unfortunately. When we come back, we will head into Exodus Castle like we were told to. Surely, surely things will go swimmingly in there. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.